So once upon a time, there was a great sage whose name was Parashara Muni. He's considered to be the grandfather of Vedic astrology. And upon looking at the stars, he saw that there was a configuration coming up, which would be extremely powerful for um, calling in God to earth to write the holy scriptures so that all of mankind and womankind might find their way. So Parashara Muni, upon seeing this great configuration, he approached a local fisherman who was, um, who was rowing the boat that he was in at the time crossing the river. He asked the fisherman, do you have a daughter that I can marry? And the poor fisherman was extremely overjoyed that Parashara Muni, the great sage and saint and grandfather of astrology, was asking for his daughter's hand in marriage. So quickly a, mar a marriage was arranged and they immediately conceived a child and that child was known as Veda Vyas, the writer of the Vedas. This child was actually God, the eternal almighty Lord, come to earth to specifically write these ancient books known as the Vedas. So what is within the Vedas? We have the Ayurveda, we have Vedic astrology, so Ayurveda deals with the body, with your health, with the health of your mind, the health of your life heirs. Then we have the Vedas, which include the Puranas and the Ishu Upanishads, which describe the many um, planets in the different universes in creation, including Devidam, uh, which is the goddess's um, kingdom. And uh, we have Shiva Purana, which is about Lord Shiva, who has an eternal planet in the above the heavens. Um, and then we have the Srimad Bhagavatam. And within the Srimad Bhagavatam, which are a group of many, many books, we have the fifth canto. And within the, fifth, fifth, the, within the fifth canto, there are references that detail heaven. There's seven layers of heaven, seven layers of hell, the earth and the eternal planetary systems, including the kingdom of God which are not included in heaven, they are above heaven. So these spiritual truths were compiled by Veda Vyas, written by Veda Vyas many hundreds of thousands of years ago, and they are considered, they are known to be the most ancient of all scriptures known to mankind. All religion sprouts from the Vedas. Vedic culture, the Vedic civilization, was the first civilization known to mankind. And it was um, a, a very high vibration civilization where people lived very, very long. And they were extremely spiritual, very pious, very kind. And um, people were extremely dedicated to God. Then 5,000 years ago, when Lord Krishna came to earth, he, upon his um, leaving this world, taking the kingdom with him, Upon that, all of the continents broke apart and the one landmass, which was known as Bharatavarsha at the time, split apart into the, many con into the many continents that we now have. And this is why Sanskrit is said to be the mother language of all. And actually, it goes deeper. Sanskrit is the language of the gods. Hence, we hear from the gods what these eternal realms and the temporary realms of heaven and hell are like in great detail. So to save people time, I condensed these incredible teachings into my book, Woman in Red Magdalene Speaks, taking people on a journey through the seven layers of hell and the seven layers of heaven into the eternal realms of the eternal planets and ultimately into the kingdom. I did this for your spiritual benefit so that you might understand the goal of life and how karma works. So please take the time to read the book if you can. The name of the book is Woman in Red, Magdalene Speaks. God bless you all.